Yes, people, how are you doing? Timsey here, and I'm glad to say we are back for another episode of First Impressions, and I'm joined by the England new boy, lead star, Calvin Phillips. Calvin, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Good? you. This is very, very nice and simple. Uh, we're just gonna be basically flipping the cards. It's gonna have a few words on there, and then we just have a little chat about whatever the subject is. So, yeah. you ready? You want me to go? Uh, yeah, if you want. Yeah. Here we go. First one, St George's Park home of the England uh, football team. How has it been? Because obviously you've never been here before, not even in the lower levels. This is just first time here. How is it? Yeah, it's obviously the facility is uh, amazing. You know, I've never been to a place like this before and obviously coming here for the first time, you know, it's a real eye opener to, to what I can do and, you know, to what I can eventually see in the future. And hopefully a lot, I come here quite more often. Did any of your, because I know you know like Eddie a little bit and obviously Jack, did they, in any way tell you like this is what it's like or you just first came in like you just turned up to Fort Park and you're like oh my god. I didn't have a clue what it was going to be like yeah. um, you know I know Eddie quite well um, he was on line at Leeds so you know we got on quite well but it never once crossed my mind to to ask how it was here. So. Right. It takes away the surprise yeah, it must yeah. be quite nice. Yeah I suppose. Yeah, yeah. it's like kid in the candy shop <laughs> like, this is my dream. <laughs> uh, no that's amazing man it's amazing. Right well next one. The cooler. This is what everyone wants to know. Look, his face just shining straight away. Um, so, did you expect it in any way after your stellar season? And also, um, how actually was it? How did it all happen? Um, so, no, I didn't expect no. a call up at all. No, no, because I hadn't kicked a Premier League football yet. So, I thought I'd have to go quite far into the season to, to actually get a call up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, obviously, uh, my agent rang me the night before. Um, Gareth Southgate was announcing the squad and I just said I've got somebody that wants to ring you in the morning and tell me who it was. That's a bit, that's a bit cheeky. Yeah. You're like, who's it going to be? Yeah, so then couldn't sleep the next night, um, was up all night and then was on the way into training and got a phone call. Didn't really know who it was because obviously didn't have his number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I answered, I was a bit hello and then just said, hi, it's Gareth Southgate and I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. went quiet for like, I love that. went quiet for like five seconds yeah. and he was just asking me how I was nice, um, and then just told me that he wanted to include me into the squad and obviously I was over the moon, didn't really know what to say, I was just... Thanks. Yeah, I was just <laughs> saying that's amazing, thank yeah. you, and then as soon as I put the phone down I was just screaming at the top of my voice. Really? Who, who was the first person you called Chris? Like that's such a massive <laughs> moment in, in anyone's career, um, but I mean for yourself coming from the Championship, as you say, not kicked a Premier League football yet to now you're in the England senior setup. Yeah. You must have, I mean, first thing straight away, your parents or is it your family, your best mate? Yeah, I've, well, I've been my girlfriend as well because she had an idea of what it was going to be about, but I didn't really know because my agent and my girlfriend are quite close. Okay, I speak okay. a lot and my family do, so um, she so was everyone like, knew, but you basically? They didn't know, but they just had an idea. <laughs> yeah. So then um, I rang my girlfriend, told my girlfriend, rang my mum, told my mum. Rang my grandma, told my grandma, oh, I see. Just all my family members, ah, really. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I can, oh no. I suppose this is my equivalent in it. I'm, I've been called up for the England YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> First training session. When you do these, by the way, it's quite suspenseful. It's a bit like... Because I, I want to oh look and see what it is first. So no, none of them are stitching you up. They're all good, <laughs> they're all good ones. Okay. Uh, so first training session, as you said, you've been here for a few days now um, and you've been in pre-season. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how were the few first training sessions back? Was it different to how it's been with Leeds or how's it been? Yeah, it's very different. Um, at Leeds we do more tactical um, like drills and stuff, whereas at England we were doing more possession-based football, which, you know, kind of caught me by surprise really. And yeah. Um, obviously, I've been training for quite a long time um, this pre-season, so um, I was a bit nervous at first yeah. when I was um, when I started warming up. But as soon as the nerves go, then you sound, and obviously all the lads made me feel welcome and nice. and stuff like that. So it was good. Was it? Was there anything that that caught your eye or caught you by surprise, or any players that you know caught you? Obviously, the tempo, of the training sessions, a lot quicker than yeah. a lot quicker than normal. Um, obviously. There's, some very good players in the group. <laughs> a few. I'm not gonna. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not gonna single anyone out and okay, say okay. one person did well. But nah, it's it's a good group and there's a lot of great players there. So centre mid competition. Talking of you on the pitch. So firstly, how do you see yourself as you know a centre mid? And also, as Gareth said, that he he wants more competition in that central midfield position. Yeah, obviously I see myself as a deep line midfielder, getting on the ball um, over Tech. the last. 
Over the, yeah, over the last two years, obviously, we've got a manager at Leeds that's kind of changed my position. And, yeah. you know, the last two, two years I've done quite well. So, um, I'm not saying that, you know, I deserved an England call-off. But, you know, I was very lucky to get, privileged to get an England call-off. And, yeah, like you say, the competition in, in the midfield, you know, there's a lot of great players. Um, Declan Rice, Ward Prowse, you know, they're very good players and very um, established players as well. And, huh. and I'll just try and, you know, go into training and try and take not take notes from them and how they train and kind of try and bring it into my training sessions as well and perfect next one not that one no, i'm joking I'm <laughs> <laughs> the yorkshire pillow here we go this is it's almost like we planned this this is a, this, he hasn't called himself the yorkshire pillow it's not this is not you're a very humble yeah, nice yeah, guy yeah. um but this has been uh leeds fans have affectionately called you the yorkshire pillow um because of the way you play i guess but how does it feel to be called the Yorkshire Pillow, and do you think it's actually an accurate thing, uh, an accurate representation of maybe how you play? Um, I'm not too sure to be honest, obviously I'm happy that obviously Leeds fans have, do actually have a song for me. Yeah, um, it's wicked. What's the song? Um, Philip C. Yorkshire Pillow. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do, that's fine, that's one line, perfect. Um, like comparing me and Pillow obviously is a lot, a lot different, um, you know the way he played and the way that I play, uh, there is some similarities but I'm not too sure whether. I guess you're a bit more dynamic than Pirlo, because Pirlo was a bit slower. I Come don't on, know. You've got to I don't know, because I'm, I'm not rapid to be fair. I'm not, <laughs> quick, I'm not a quick player to be fair, so. Okay. Promotion. Here we go, the big one. So, as you said, Championship player, now Prem player. Uh, top of the Championship last year. Unbelievable season. How was that? Fighting in the championship for so long, you've got a fan base, and the whole you know football landscape knows that Leeds is a huge club, and it deserves to be back in the Premier League. You know, yeah. so how did that feel finally getting that promotion? You know, playoffs. Uh, oh, we forget about that. It was quite bad. a bit, but you know, we came back and we were stronger, and you know, we, we we did well, and you know, I'm just happy that you know I had the team around me, and we did eventually get Leeds United up to the Premier League. Dream so. come true. Man. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, right. Next one. Next one spirit in the camp nice how is the atmosphere amongst the lads is it good yeah it seems good everyone gets on you know you don't have any separate groups or anything like that obviously nice. you have some of the young boys and some of the older boys um, but everyone chats together everyone has a laugh so I think the spirit in the camp is good um, you know you've, you've got a lot of people cracking jokes and that all the time so so yeah it's good to be around any any sort is there like a Yorkshire group that sort of forms or to be fair um, Kieran Trippier and Kyle were saying that you know, Tom would come and sit on their table top something yeah, yeah, and nice. just get all the Yorks boys together. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Right, last one, final one. The England national team. I mean, we've already spoke loads about it, but how does it feel? It must just, is it surreal or is it sort of like, no, I, I, I belong here? How do you feel about being in the England South? Yeah, it's surreal, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, I never thought I'd be in this position, especially about kicking a ball in the Premier League. Um, it's always been my ambition to maybe play for my country, but never actually thought like I deserve to be there or yeah. um, I need to be there, I should be getting picked. So and obviously I'm very yeah, very grateful for the manager and the staff's decision to, to bring me here and obviously I'm very grateful for you know my teammates as well at Leeds that have helped me and you know the teammates here as well. So nice. Well I've got to say you might not think of but anyone who's watched the championship, watch you play for Leeds as well, knows how good a player you are. You fully deserve being called up to the England squad. So congratulations, Thank I'm you. very, very happy for you. Cheers. Um, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more of you. And that's it. So hope you enjoyed. Everyone, I guess, leave in the comments. Congratulations, Calvin, in the, in the comments. Um, but also stay tuned uh, to the England channel for a lot more content uh, now and in the future. And I guess we'll see you next time.